As an executive producer, what's your vision for the MonsterVerse moving forward? Are there any specific like storylines or themes viewers you um, that you want viewers to see next? You know, we poured our heart and soul into this season of Monarch and it, it we're so proud of it. We're so excited about it. We're so excited for fans to see it and hopefully like it as much as we enjoyed making it. And that's as far into the future of the MonsterVerse as, as I could handle at this moment. <laughs> okay. Um, so the characters in Monarch, they have like a lot of complex relationships and secrets, like this straight up mess that they have with Hiroshi and his two families. But also in episode three, we see hints of a little bit of mess with Dr. Mira and with Shaw. Um, how will their dynamics evolve in future episodes? And can you tease any upcoming character developments? I definitely don't want to. I mean, I think that the, the joy of this show is in discovering all of that stuff and not having any of it spoiled. I love what, you know, Chris Black and Matt Fraction have created and they've created so many wonderful disparate characters and they're all on these separate journeys and they all end up overlapping in such surprising and interesting ways and that's about all i would want to tease and hopefully folks will enjoy the ride okay i've got one last question and i'll let you go um as such a marvelous producer what were some of the most rewarding or I don't know, fantastic moments in bringing Monarch to life. And how have these experiences on this project influenced the future of your career? You know, like with the next four projects. <laughs> um, you know, everything that, that, that I've done ends up informing the next thing. You know, having worked on Game of Thrones and being at battles with dragons or working on, on intense family dramas all impacted my work on Monarch. And then now moving forward into Fantastic Four, where there are large scale things as well as a lot of family drama. I mean, one of the things about the Fantastic Four is they are Marvel's first family. You know, they really are not the family you find along the way, like the X-Men or the Avengers, but true family with all the wonderful love and all the messiness that comes with that. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Pat, thank you so much. Anthony with the movie blog, I hope to speak with you again in the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much.